what is up everybody welcome back to today's mukbang today's mukbang we are doing breakfast um we have some toast with avocado on it and a fried egg um yeah it's like a oatmeal type bread grain i don't know anyway we got some coffee right here we're about to just chow down we're about to dig in but first let's say a blessing thank you jesus for this day Thank you for helping us in all we do. Just continue us all to safety tonight. Just my day through the day. Help us all get along. Forgive us all for our sins and build the ones to do without. And just name pray, man. So how's everyone doing? Hope everybody's doing great. Fantastic. So we just got a little bit to talk about. But first we're gonna eat. Mmm. Mmm. So we're gonna eat a little bit. We'll talk a little bit. And first of all, if you want to do a Q and A, ask me some questions down below, and I will try to answer them in my next video. Because I want to interact with y'all. So, yeah. But just look at this. Hmm. So, I don't know if any of y'all know what Passion is. Um, the Passion Conference, which is a Christian conference. Um, it's like three days long. Anyway. Me and my um, young, group church, young adult group at church went to Passion this um, in January. Um, it's still January, but I went to Passion earlier this month. Let me tell you, it was amazing. God moved. Um, God restored relationships. God broke down walls. Um, he made us stronger. We all have a fire inside of us now for God like we never had before. Um, but it definitely brought re relationships, restore relationships. Um, we, like, some points, um, well, during, like, there's a lot of worship music, but also there is um, some Bible teachings. Um, sorry, y'all. My nose is running because it's cold outside. There's also Bible teachings. And, um, one of them was uh, about Joshua being a leader. Oh, that's my name. And um, I feel like that was about me because, like, I'm on TikTok preaching and talking about Jesus. So, like, I'm leading. But there's also younger people in the church who look up to me. So, I felt like a leader. Um, but also, we also need to linger in the presence of God, like Joshua in the tent. Um yeah, when no one else is lingering in the presence of God, you, sh you should want to linger in the presence of God. Um, so I've been, um, before I read my Bible, like, I'll ask God to fill me with the Holy Spirit and reveal to me, teach me, all kind of stuff. And, um, and then I, like, after we read, we worship, I try to linger in His presence, which has been amazing, and I've learned a lot of stuff. But, um... Also, there was a message that said you could turn. We should turn a bad situation into a good situation, and we did that. Because as soon as we got back to church, the devil started. Tried, he he tried working. Between me and a friend, and you wonder how we handled the situation. We handled the situation by hugging each other. And fixing the problems together. That's how we handle it. We put the devil out of work. We put him out of business. Um, but. It was really amazing. And if you ever get. The opportunity to go. To Passion. It's in Atlanta, Georgia. You should go. It's really amazing. Holy Spirit. God filled. Um, 
This is really good. I should have got two. Um, but really amazing, powerful, Holy Spirit field, God field. But like I said, Jesus restored relationships there. Um, he made us on fire for him. Um, and sometimes I just felt like I was, it was only me and Jesus in the room during the worship service because I had my hands, I mean, I had my eyes closed, my hands out. I was just worshiping and it just felt like me and Jesus was in the room. And it was really amazing. Um, but God's been working since then. And um, yeah, it's just it was just an amazing experience. And um, lots of worship, lots of praise, lots of Bible. It was amazing. And there was like 30,000 people there, um, young adults. Um, and we got to meet some strangers we never knew before, which was really awesome. Um, but it just brought my, my group of young adult friends together closer and set us on fire for God, which is the whole um, mission to be passionate about God. But um, next year, 2024, um, it's going to be at the Mercedes-Benz Arena, which holds, I think, like 70 to 100,000 people, um, which is going to be amazing. But, um, but also, I get to um, direct our Easter play this year at church, which is something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, I get to do that, which is exciting. Um, yeah, God's been moving, God's been working, but I hope your, hope your new year is off to a great start. I hope it's God felt God, um, because this year has started off with God, um, God being in the presence, God revealing stuff to me, um, for real, God revealing stuff to me for real, for real, um, and we can get into that topic if you want to know. Let me know down in um, comments if you want to know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. But. Um, and God, like. He's like, this year is going to be the year that people know me. Um, so I'm excited for that. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. Morning, night, afternoon, wherever you're at. I know this is a short video, but. Um. I want to start posting more, so y'all keep me accountable for that. Give me some questions um, that you want to ask me to talk about. Um, if you want to know what God's been revealing to me, let me know. But, yeah. All right, well, thank y'all guys so much for watching, and I hope to see y'all guys in my next video. All right, bye, everyone.